Hello and welcome to this introduction on AUA's Home Learning Plan Phase 2. This is a video that is relevant to all students, parents and teachers alike and I'm just going to call up the plan now so you can see it's on your screen. This document has been shared with parents through parent mail and it's been shared with you students through um, Firefly. So let's have a look through this very quickly. So as I said, then this is phase two. Um, this is to run from the 20th of April to the 22nd of May. If we need to extend home learning beyond that point, then it will become phase three and it will be adapted to be suitable for the uh, intended students at that time. This is a document that is suitable for all students. So please, all students, you need to look through it carefully. So this first page, page four, is a very important page and one that all year 13 and all year 11 students need to read through. It gives you some information around grading of your courses and what still needs to be done. So the timetable has been done to mirror our normal school day, um, albeit only up to around two o'clock for most days. Uh, but you'll notice in there that we've still got a virtual LRG session. That virtual LRG session I'll go on to on the next slide. For staff, staff still have to attend meetings and uh, continue with their professional development. And you'll see that we've also built that in for students as well. So LRGs, virtual LRGs, they were running very nicely through Zoom meetings just before we broke up for the Easter break and they will continue in the same format. However, year nine and year 10 must attend their LRGs every day of the week, Monday to Friday. And for year 11 and 12, it's Monday and Wednesday only. And for year 13, 14, it is Monday only. So the timetable there is for year nine and for year 10. You'll see it's more or less one subject per day. Where it says it's a Zoom support, you will find information about that Zoom support meeting in that subjects area on Firefly. The idea here is that on each day you can focus on a particular subject's work to make it more easier for you to manage the workload that you have got and the time that you have got to spend on that work at home. At the bottom of the page you'll see we've got some contact details there. In the first instance you must always go through your LRG tutor whether that's verbally in the mornings in your LRG time or whether that's through email. Year 11, your timetable is the same structure, but contains far less as the main priority for you is to complete any vocational units. Again, you'll see we've got who to contact, but there now at the bottom of the page in the middle, you've also got professional development and transition courses, which we'll come to later on. Six four, we've broken you up into two different groups, um, BTEC students and A-level students. Um, it's fair to say that these timetables can't possibly cover everything and a lot of the sessions on here may well be support sessions as well as taught sessions. So if you have any concerns about missing out on a particular unit or you're struggling with a particular unit's work, you need to email your unit teacher for assistance. Once again, Year 13 students, please refer to page four and uh, just to make sure you fully understand what's required of you before the end of the academic year. A-level students, same thing, again, if there are Zoom sessions booked on there, then you will find information in the subjects Firefly page. Staff are asked to continue with their professional development by accessing courses through Educare. There is a list there that we would like you to complete. Please remember to download the certificate of completion as you will need to submit that to the principal's PA when we return to school. There are additional courses in Firefly as well, such as the NCRQ Safety for Managers course, as well as the Midas Minibus training course. Students, we would like you to uh, continue to develop your professionalism and your range of skills through accessing online courses, for example, first aid essentials, online safety, food hygiene. So the reason we put these in is to, again, further your uh, development to give you additional material to put onto your CV, onto application forms, and also to age will transition into year 12 if you are staying with us. So all of the year 11 that are intending to stay at AUEA as part of the sixth form, you need to complete all those transition tasks that are in bold, please. All the courses that are listed on here are for you to access should you want to. Um, 
particular attention for year 13 would be the future note courses around critical thinking at university as well as preparing for university. There are many, many courses out there. These are just a few that I have selected for you to complete. So for many of you, especially year nine and year 10, you may not have considered exactly where you want to go when you leave AUEA and what sort of career you want to venture into. So what I would like all students please to access is step one, two and three on this page. It starts by looking at your skills, then you can do a bit of research around sectors and then you can start to work out your goals and eventually create a CV and personal statement. If you use Firefly, link in this page for launch your career, you'll be able to access something called local market information. And again, there are a couple of links further down on the right hand side. This is where you can compare different sectors in terms of how much you get paid, how many hours a week you tend to work and where the jobs in the country are. The most important bit of information is that you'll be able to see whether that is an industry that's in growth or decline. Another bit of information on this page for you, or two bits of information, is White Hat are doing a, an online session around apprenticeships on the 23rd. You'll need to book in, just click on the link there to take you to the booking page. And also all year 10 and year 12 work experience has been cancelled and we are looking to do an alternative version of that and more information will follow. So the next two pages are around supporting you and your parents. Um, so this is uh, tips for managing anxiety uh, for you to read through. And also you've got support groups there should you need them. OK, again, click on the link and you'll be able to find out more information. Finally, that brings us to the last page where you've got a list of contacts. So if you do need to contact anybody, please use the links that are here but primarily you should be going through your LRG2 in the first instance. So that brings us to an end of a quick run through of what we are doing and in terms of AUEA's phase two for home learning. I hope to see you all very soon back at school. I hope you're safe and sound. Thank you for watching.